Hi everyone, welcome to Swiss Knits and what we're going to do is we're going to fix a drop stitch after we finished a project. I have made this hat, I finished it off and I noticed that I have this drop stitch right here. Rather than unraveling everything, I want to just be able to fix this. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a little stitch marker something that you can just hang on to the stitch just like this and I want to show you something here now I noticed here that I have two ladders right here so I have one and two so what we need to do is we need a crochet hook and we're also going to need a tapestry needle Okay, so let's go ahead and try and fix this. Now, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to take this stitch marker off. And I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to go through that drop stitch right there. And I'm going to pick up one of the ladders right here. So I'm going to go under the ladder that you're going to see it right there and you're going to pull it through. So now I just picked up one and I think there's a second one here which is right here and I'm going to pick that one up. Okay, so now we have that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm going to just grab onto that just to keep everything in place. Now, what we need to do is I have, when I finished my hat, I had an extra, you know, this yarn here to weave in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this upside down, inside out. And I have this piece of yarn here. If you don't have this, you can just get yourself a piece of yarn and weed, weave in and out, in and out, in and out, so it's secure. Now, my stitch marker is right here. I can feel it. So I'm just gonna take this piece of excess yarn that I had that I needed to weave in anyway and I'm going to get my tapestry needle okay here we go so I have my tapestry needle on that piece of yarn and my piece is right here so I need to weave in and around here and I'm just going to go up See here, I'm just going to go up every ladder that I see until I get to that point. Now I'm feeling, I'm, I'm grabbing underneath and it's right here. So I need to continue on up. And I'm right about there, which is right here. So now I'm just going to poke right through the piece. So poking right through, and now I'm just going to flip my work. All right, so now that I'm here, now my thread is coming out of here, and I want to just pick up, I'm, I actually, let, let me just take off this, this um, stitch marker, and I'm just going to go through the stitch, 
like that. Now here's the stitch. Now what I want to do is kind of hide this. So I'm going to go through these two stitches like this. And I'm going to play with this so that doesn't look too obvious. And then, see I just went these th uh, through these two. I'm going to go back through like this. And there's your stitch. Like you're really not going to see it. Okay. And now that I have that, I'm just going to flip it around. And what you want to do is weave in and out of your work. Okay. So I'm going to weave through some stitches here that we won't see. Not too tight, just keep it loose. And I'll weave down some stitches. Weave up some stitches. And then weave down. And then weave up. Now, I don't want to just cut this like this. So what I'm going to do with my, what I use, I'm going to cut this in half. Because then I'm going to tie a knot. So I'm going to just, like I said, take my yarn and split it in half. Then I'm going to take my darning needle or my um, tapestry needle and I'm going to weed it in here. Ooh, if I can get it through there. Need to turn it a little bit and then try again. Get it through your needle. Okay. So I have, I split my yarn in two and I'm going to just be weaving this through a couple of times back to where the other pieces. Just like that. And now what I'm going to do is take these two pieces and tie it in a knot. This way I know that it's not going to unravel. So you don't want to do it too tight. Just lay it there. Second one. Do a little bit tighter. And then third one, really do it tight. And then you're going to take your scissors and cut this and this isn't going anywhere. So now that little drop stitch is no longer there. <clears throat> so that's how you fix a little drop stitch that you find after you've completed a project. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or any other um, way to do this, please leave me a comment below. I will be more than happy to respond. And thank you for watching till the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.